What is the meaning of an entitled parent? An entitled parent is a parent 97% of the time is a mother and can also be referred to as Karen, who treats their child like the second coming of Jesus. They will literally do anything to make life hell for anyone else just for their precious little angel. Whether it's letting them do whatever they want in public places with no consequences or will literally try to steal other people's property like people's pets or backpacks or bikes etc. But when the authorities come they will try to lie and cheat their way out of their sticky situations. They can be seen driving minivans, SUVs, preferably Kia with their children in tow. They can be found at places like coffee shops, fast food places, public playground, dog parks, and literally anywhere else where kids would be. They generally live in the upper middle class suburbs and carry Gucci's or Louis Vuitton handbags and glasses. Now we know what an entitled parent is, let's have a look at a couple of stories with them in action. Entitled parents think the movie theater is their living room. I've mentioned this in comments before and a few people have asked me to write it up. The title in a nutshell is largely why I almost never go to the theater. It had been getting worse over the years, mostly with people seemingly unable to put away their phones and the fact that while theaters are the same size, they renovated them to cram in more seats. I used to be able to slip past a person seated without touching them, now there is no leg room and if you need to get up, everyone has to move into the aisle to let you out. This is not like the old days where you had to wait a year or more for a movie to be released on video and then hope you could rent it. Buying them was $100 or more a pop in the old days. Now I can wait a couple of months and buy or stream the movie on my big screen television for less than the cost of the snacks. I don't have to shell out $8 for a soda and $12 for popcorn. Mostly I don't have to deal with entitled people, mostly parents who seems to think that because they have kids their right to enjoy the movies as they and their crotched goblins see fit is more important than everyone else. It ruins the experience for everyone else, but they really don't care. Heaven forbid it be a single mother, they tend to be the queen of entitled. There were a couple of events that put me into the just wait until it's out on video mindset. This was the first. I wanted to see the remake of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I skipped opening weekend because I know better. I went to the late showing on Monday night. The movie started at 11.45 pm. You want to avoid most people at the theater, go that late. It's usually safe. You have a handful of adults, in this case mainly students at the local college, and other adults that just don't want to deal with kids. I had gone to the dollar store and bought a pack of Butterfinger Minis. The theater didn't have Butterfingers and all the candy bars regular size were $5 each. They were in the inside pocket of my denim jacket. I could smuggle in a turkey in those pockets. Tonight though, I bought a medium soda and medium popcorn. Refills are free, but I didn't want to have to get up. The soda and popcorn cost me $15. I could have gone with a large for $5 more, but it was just not me, not a small army. I didn't think I needed a gallon of soda and a bus shell basket of popcorn. I remember the cost because I did the math later. The other use of the jacket was to keep from freezing to death even in the summer. Even in summer, that theater is ice cold. As expected, there were a lot of empty seats, so I choose one about six rows from the back in the middle, great spot. They had already dimmed the lights and were running the previews when I got in. I let my eyes adjust, found my spot and settled in to watch. A group comes in after me. I hear a strange sound behind me, the voices of children? Nah, couldn't be. It's almost midnight on a school night and this, well, this is a horrible, violent and bloody R rated movie. Nope, no one would do that. No one except an entitled mom. It also wasn't a kid, it was four kids. Four children. The oldest was maybe 10, the youngest about 3, to see a movie called The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It wasn't like the title was ambiguous or anything. There is going to be a massacre and it's going to involve chainsaws. It's right there in the title. She plops her ass down in the seat, two seats to my right in the row, directly behind me and I turn my head just enough to get a glimpse of her and the kids. She had two kids on either side of her, one directly behind me, oh joy. The kids are all in their night clothes and each had a large tub of popcorn, a large soda and a candy bar. That's $25 in snacks for each kid. She had the same for herself. Tickets at that time for all seats were $2. 
the only discounts were for senior citizens. Their tickets were $1. This woman had just spent $135 to take her small children to see the Texas Chainsaw Massacre at 11.45 pm. Whatever, free country and all that. A lot more college aid students came in as the previews continued, nearly filling the theater. This was a surprise but I figured they were just trying to avoid kids the way I was. The people behind me continued to speak in a normal tone of voice that I figured would drop when the movie started. The kid behind me, the 10 year old, was kicking my seat repeatedly. His legs were long enough to reach the back of my seat and pushed but not long enough to reach the floor. So that was what he was doing. He was arguing with his brother about something and they kept shoving each other. The mother made one of the other kids switch seats because they were bugging her. The argument however continued. As the movie started, it started raining popcorn. The boys were throwing popcorn at each other. The mother didn't like this so she told the kid to go sit with his brother. She didn't want the popcorn on her. They kept throwing it at each other and me. I'm trying to watch the movie and my seat is still being kicked. The boys are no fool of wrestling behind me. The other two kids are loudly complaining about the cold. Their mother ignores them. They get bored and start to run around. They were running up and down the aisle, bumping into people and demanding popcorn and sips of their soda. When they were refused, they went to their mother to complain. She screams out. You all need to be quiet being so selfish and let my kids have a sip. Nearly deafening me in the process. Their sodas, in case you were wondering, had been spilled poured on the floor. I know this because at one point when I moved my feet, they sloshed in the puddle on the floor. Their brothers had thrown their popcorn at each other as well. Basically $100 in snacks just dumped on the floor. They ate the candy. After a good 120 minutes of this crap, someone went out to tell the owner. Small town, she was always there. I didn't notice. What I do know is that the 10 year old at this point shouted at his mother and siblings, who were talking nonstop at full volume, to be quiet, I can't hear the movie. Before I could stop myself, my mouth opened and words came out. Yeah, it would be nice if you all shut up and while you're at it, would you please quit kicking my seat? The woman lost her shit. Entitled mom. How dare you tell me and my children to shut up? We have every right to make noise. I have every right to hear the movie I've paid to watch. My children and I deserve to have a night out. I'm a single mom and you have no idea how hard that is. You probably don't even have kids. Nope, I've raised a couple though. I've never took them to violent movies on a school night. I have a right to a life. That's nice. Could you shut up now so we can hear the movie? No, I will not. Owner to entitled mom, you need to come with me. I want this rude girl thrown out. She's harassing me and my children. Random dude. This woman and her kid haven't shut up since the movie started. They have thrown popcorn all over the place and there is river of soda on the floor. Owner casts her light over the floor and tells them they have to go. The kids troop out without issue. The mother follows screaming and cussing the whole time about rude teenagers. I was over 30, but then I didn't have 4 kids to age me. As the movie lets out, the concession girl is standing there offering a free ticket to everyone to see the movie again. I didn't see anyone take one. The entitled mother was still there arguing with the owner and demanding a full refund on the snacks. She was threatening to call the police if she didn't get it. Then she saw me. She followed me out of the theater to the sidewalk. You, you stupid bitch, you owe me $150 for snacks. Mm, nope. I was thrown out of the theater because of you. You have to pay me. Mm, nope. I'm going to call the police. I hear her voice in the crowd yell out, No need, they are already here. I turn and standing there is my staff nephew and his dad and a couple of other local cops. His dad was the local police chief. Huge horror movie fans. My staff nephew was 19 at the time. Chief. No, she doesn't owe you any money, but I'm curious as to why you thought it was appropriate to take your kids to that movie. What's your name? I don't have to tell you my name. Actually, as you are currently disturbing at peace, you do. Name. EM gives her name. You get those kids home, have a good night. But what about my money? You were thrown out for disturbing the others in the movie. You are entitled to nothing. EM whining. But I'm a single mom, just trying to have some fun. 
Chief. That's on you, good night. He and my staff nephew walked me to my car discussing the movie and how it was different from the original. He and two other cops that were there were getting ready to step in when the mother left. They were off duty and figured she would leave quietly. The next day, he dropped a note to Child Protective Services to keep an eye on those kids. As far as I know, nothing ever came of it. I saw the woman about a week later in the grocery store parking lot trying to sell a gift card for gas money. I guess maybe she should have spent her money on gas instead of popcorn for her kids to throw. This was the first time this happened. It started to become a regular thing. Parents taking the kids to movies that the parents wanted to see and just letting the kids run loose as they thought they were at home. It's gotten so bad that many theaters don't allow children in R movies at all or have an age restriction on anything but kids movies. It happened to me so often, even at late movies, that I invested in a home theater system and just watch at home. It's much nicer that way. I even bought a real theater popcorn maker. The Entitled Aunt and the Liquor Store This happened about 30 minutes ago. I was not personally involved, but had a front row seat. This is graduation weekend where I live, so entitled parents and relatives are everywhere. I ran out to the store to grab a gallon of milk and headed over to the liquor store to get my husband a pack of cigarettes. It's a drive through so I was in my car waiting for the two cars in front of me. No big deal. It's a nice day and all the windows are open and the clerks at this store are typically pretty fast. The truck currently being served bought more cases of beer than I have seen outside of a liquor store, 9 of them. The passengers were taking them from the window and loading them into the back. I guess they are having a party, or trying to survive the influx of relatives. No big deal, it was just kind of amusing. Well, it was amusing to me, apparently the entitled aunt of the girl driving the car didn't see it that way. I kept hearing at her telling the driver, honk and maybe they will hurry up, I shouldn't have to wait in line. The girl was largely ignoring her, and I imagine rolling her eyes. Finally, the woman had had enough and decided to go into the store instead of waiting. There were four humans in the car. I quickly discovered that it was two mother-daughter pairs. The older woman are apparently sisters. There was also a dog in the car, his name is Boomer. It happened so quickly that I didn't get a photo of him so I can't pay the dog tax. When the entitled aunt got out of the car, Boomer thought it was time to get out and play. He jumped out of the car and is running around trying to say hello to people coming out of the store. A nice man stopped to greet Boomer and grabbed his collar. I saw Entitled Aunt sigh and go over to get the friendly little guy. He's a mid-sized dog, white with brown patch over his left eye. Cute little dude with a face that looks like he was smiling, bright and shiny coat. Well, fat. He was obviously well cared for and loved, you can tell. Entitled Aunt looks like the stereotypical soccer mom with a bleach blonde bob and more makeup than any three people should wear. She was clearly in her mid-50s, trying to look like she was 30. She grabs Boomer by his collar and yanks him back towards the open car door. His front legs are off the ground and she shoves him into the car, kicks him hard in the back right leg as he gets in. He yelps and she says, shut up you stupid effing mutt, slams the door and goes into the store. The driver loses it. She is out of the car and first opens the back door to check on Boomer. He's okay. Her mother gets out of the car to prevent the girl, she looks about 20 from going in after the woman. It works. The girl gets in the car and says, that's it, I've put up with enough of her crap this weekend. No one treats my boomer that way. She walks her sorry ass home. Her mother tells her that she's family and you know how she is. To which the girl replies, she's your sister, you invited her and she hurt boomer, I'm done. At this point the truck finishes paying and leaves. The girl, now that there is an opening, speeds off with him. I give my cigarette order to the clerk and as I'm paying, I see the entitled aunt, four people back in line, mad as a hornet. Had she stayed in the car, she would be done by now. Apparently those in the store didn't know or care that she shouldn't have to wait in line, as they were not letting her in front. I pay and pull around. The car she was in is long gone. I stay long enough to see her come out and realize she has been left. She gets out her phone, makes a call and is cussing up a damn storm when I left. I'm just glad Boomer is okay. My puppy is not community property. A few years ago my family was living in an apartment and we decided to get a puppy after our older dog passed away. We brought home our 5 pound ball of fluff 
and of course the kids in the nearby apartments went crazy for him. When we were taking him out they would all run over to pet him. There were these two kids in particular, a brother and sister that just rubbed me the wrong way. I would ask them to give puppy some space to relieve himself before they pet him or to approach him a certain way as part of his early training. They never listened. One day they knocked on my door asking if puppy could come out and play. I explained to them I was working and that we would be out later. They started begging and I said no and shut the door. The next day same thing. This time I watched what apartment they returned to. Another day and I'm sitting in my living room playing with puppy on a break and someone tries to open my door. Knob turning. Someone pushing like they could force the door. It was locked. I put pup in his crate, call 911 and go to check because this person is being really persistent. It's the kids wanting to come in and play with the dog. Now mom finally comes over demanding to know what's going on. I informed her that I called the police to report a possible attempted robbery or home invasion because her children were trying to force entry into my home. All the denial. Police show up. I tell the officer why I called. He turns to the mother and tells her that I do in fact have a legitimate complaint of harassment and attempted breaking and entering. She turns to me and screams, this wouldn't be an issue if this selfish bitch would just share the puppy. Officer, I have no sharing agreement. Until I brought the puppy home I had no idea who thing 1 and thing 2 here were. I also do not intend to share, he belongs to my family. They were trying to force entry into my home. Now, where do I sign my complaint and will you make sure the office gets copy? Mom starts crying and telling me I can't do this. I'm horrible and heartless. Yep, I hope your kids have a scared straight moment. They moved not long after that, as did we. So those were the stories for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, a like would be highly appreciated. It really does help my channel out. Also, if you enjoy this and want to stay up to date on the latest videos, then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for listening and I will see you in the next video.